Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many developers encounter in Visual Studio. One of our viewers has noticed something strange. When opening a specific solution, they are greeted with a long list of code errors that seem to vanish when they interact with the code. Is this a sign of a deeper problem or just a quirk of Visual Studio? Let's dive into this intriguing question and explore what's really going on. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. If you're seeing code errors in Visual Studio that don't seem to exist, you're not alone. This can happen for various reasons, and we'll explore some common solutions. First, let's check if the solution is fully loaded. Sometimes Visual Studio needs a moment to analyze the code. You can try rebuilding the solution to refresh the error list. Another reason for these phantom errors could be related to the IntelliSense cache. Clearing the cache can help resolve these false positives. If the issue persists, ensure that all your project dependencies are correctly installed and up to date. Sometimes, missing or outdated packages can trigger these errors. Lastly, if none of these solutions work, consider resetting your Visual Studio settings. This can resolve configuration issues that might be causing the problem. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with Visual Studio showing non-existent code errors may stem from using a website project instead of a web application project. This was discovered when examining recurring errors related to code behind files, specifically about control names not existing in the current context. One significant difference is that website projects lack designer files for each ASP page. This might cause Visual Studio to lose track of control references until the relevant page or code behind file is opened. As a temporary solution, the user is transitioning to a web application project. They hope this insight helps others facing similar issues. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers. <laughs>